Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see for though. What's going on for you? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Five of Cups. For some reason, I'm seeing a lot of healing with that. It feels like whatever you're dealing with, some stuff went down. I don't know what, but it's in the... Um, it's definitely in a, in under an energy of healing, a lot of it. So, In the recent past, the Sun, the Death, <laughs> the Seven of Wands. Man, talk about going from one extreme to another. So there's a situation in which a lot of happiness shows up and then it's like it tanks. It's, it's going south like 100 miles an hour and you're just not letting it. You're like, nope, you're not going to die under my watch. Nope. Okay. In the current situation, the devil, the high priestess, the strength card. Uh, somebody's losing touch with their intuition. I'm not even... I don't even think whoever this is, and I feel like it's you, uh, even is trying to lie to themselves that they're very in touch with their intuition at this point. I don't even think that, no. I think they're recognizing that, yeah, I'm way off. My intuition is way off at this point. That's not my intuition. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's not my intuition coming in. Um, and it takes a lot to even recognize that. So that in itself is quite big. So, okay, in the immediate future, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Things are starting to get a little better here. There's still some difficulty at times. There's still some bumps in the road. There is a partnership here. But it does bring out a whole lot more of the energy of love rather than, ah, you know. So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Five of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's it's a healing journey. Whatever this is, over whatever the hell happened here, because you know we'll get there. But um, and it's it's very much wanted. It's very much it's you're looking at this situation, whatever this connection represents to you, and you're like, I want to heal it. I want to work on it. You know. But at times it gets so difficult that you're like, fuck this shit. I don't want to work on it. It's too hard. Which that's kind of a given you know it comes with the territory things do get hard and it's like we want to quit so okay so it is a healing journey for the situation let me do the sun in the recent past page of pentacles ace of wands nine of pentacles this connection to whoever this is is here to teach you from very early on to gain a sense of independence. And I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean a sense of independence? This, this is a connection. I'm supposed to be committed to it. I'm supposed to be codependent. Are you? It's here through this happiness to release the need to be like, if you don't exist in my life, then I'm not happy. It's supposed to teach you to trust yourself and to, to reach that sense of happiness within yourself. To the point of, I don't need you in my life to be happy, but I do choose you to be in my life to kind of share this happiness with. You know, there's a little bit of a difference there. So it's definitely the main lesson of whatever this connection is to you is to teach you a sense of independence. And I feel like you embarked in that train. Now, what the hell happened with that train? Um, that path? Who the hell knows? But you jumped in it. You took it. You're like, okay, let's see where this train takes us. Let me see um, the death card in the recent past. The judgment card, the hierophant, the devil. Oh. Um, yeah. 
this train derailed big time at some point. Um, because it brought out a lot of unhealthy energies to the surface. Not only for you, but for them too, possibly. So it's kind of, it's kind of hitting both ways here. In the sense of wherever this train took you, it took out a lot from you. You know? Uh, which is very transformative and very healing. If you recognize it and you're like, okay, let me work with that. Instead of feeding that and being like, oh, okay, is this how things are going to be? Okay, let's do this, you know? Instead of taking it as a challenge to perpetuate this unhealthy energy that's coming to the surface here. So I'm not sure. I think it was to taken as a challenge because it's leading towards this, rail this train not only derailed, it's crashing like big time. Like what the hell is going on here? It's going south big time. It's, it's falling off a cliff that it wasn't supposed to be there to begin with, but it got there somehow you know so let's do the seven of wands three of pentacles eight of cups ten of swords yeah you were about to let this train crash big time you're about to be like i don't give a shit it can fall off that cliff it can roll over a hundred times breaking millions of pieces i don't give a shit but ultimately you're right there at the edge of that cliff being like, okay, train, take it easy. You don't need to fall right now. So definitely uh, going through it here. Definitely this brought a lot of good stuff here, but a lot of... It's not that it's bad stuff. It's a lot of energy that is coming out to be healed. It's coming out to the surface to be like, hey, remember me? I was with you all your life. You just didn't see me, but this train is showing me to you. So, heal me. And again, it's not easy. It's not easy to take on this this much showing up. Because I feel like it was a lot at once. Uh, let's do the devil in the current situation. The five of swords, the page of wands, the magician. I mean, someone's trying to have a little more fun with things, to be more flex, to be more this, that, or the other, to be to be like more chill, more light, you know? Um, but it's coming over an energy that doesn't look chill at all. Quite the opposite. It's, it's very... So whatever this was in the past that happened here, the energy is still present here. And it's a pretty heavy energy. And it's something that I feel like you're working on, they're working on, or at least you're trying. And these are heavy energies. And you can't bring a, a, a you know, ah, let's pretend it's not even there. Let's laugh about it and all of that. You can, but that's not going to heal it. That doesn't take away the fact that this energy is heavy as fuck. You know? And it's unhealthy as fuck. So you can't cover up unhealthy with, mm, let's smile about it. You can if you want to. That's not going to make it, you know, unhealthy. It's not going to make it healthy. Just because you, you threw a smile on it. And it's not you that's doing this. I don't know who's doing this. Somebody's trying that kind of a, an approach to this. It could be you. I don't know. But it doesn't have to be you. It's almost trying to cover up the heaviness of this. And I'm not saying, you know, stay in that heaviness and swim in it and be heavy with it. And yeah, throw a smile. You know, I, I do agree with the sense of, you know, sometimes life is not that serious. We just make it too serious. But throw in a smile if you can, if you have that energy. But don't throw that smile into thinking that it's going to cover it up and it'll make it go away. No, the energy is still there. Feel it heavy. Smile with that heaviness on it. Who the hell cares? If you can, you know, it's, it's, there's a slight difference here into let's make fun of it so that it goes away or let's bring some light into it because it's, it's pretty heavy. It's feeling pretty heavy. So bringing in a little bit of light to it. Yeah. It might lighten up the mood a little. That's a different approach. Um, for the high priestess, you get the 10 of cups, the fool, the 10 of pentacles. Believe it or not, there is healing at play here. And 
I don't know what the two of you took out of this situation because it looks horrifying. It's like, what the hell was going on in here? I mean, how is this train still kicking? Because it is. And it not only is it kicking, it's showing up with pretty healed energies. You know, and that could be at an individual level where you healed out of this or they healed out of this or the both of you together. Who the hell knows? I kind of see a togetherness aspect to it, but first it's like individual. Um, you know, at a deep level, I feel like it's not shown up enough on the surface to see that it's there has been healing here. But energetically speaking, <sighs> looks a whole lot better. Feels a whole lot better. It's like, oh, yay. You know, uh, man, that was intense. I didn't expect that much intensity to be in there. And how quickly it went south and how, oof. Let's do the strength card. In the current situation, the four of wands, the world card, the seven of wands. This cycle that the two of you experienced and have been through up until this point is coming to a close. The problem is you don't want to let it close. You don't want to let it die off because that means that things are going to show up in a different way and you don't know what that is it's like what if it's different but uglier or what if it's different but like even if it's nicer i'm still kind of used to things being in this way i don't know it's just resistance to change basically because this cycle needs to come to a close this cycle of healing over this has closed off you need to step into the next chapter of this which i don't even know what that's gonna look like but I don't think it can be uglier than that, in all honesty. I, I think that the worst has probably passed. I can't guarantee it, but man. Let's do the Ten of Cups in the immediate future. You get the Page of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Star. Okay, things are definitely heading in a great direction here. Slowly but surely one day at a time and that's a very important aspect of this because if things are being rushed eh, who knows that train might be like oh, okay 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 no there's a very important aspect of slowly but surely take it easy with this one because it is looking like it's heading in the right direction in a beautiful direction um if you take it slow and patience is a key aspect of this for the ten of wands you get the queen of wands the knight of cups the death card okay where it's shown up as not being so hard to show up in the love and the desire that you have for this and not only you the other energy you're dealing with too because it feels like for a very long time it was very difficult to to bring out the love that was at the core of this and i'm not surprised with these energies that are flying around who the fuck cares about love it's like, I want to... What love? Who's love? Who's this love you're talking about? You know? Um, so it's starting to show up organically. If you let it, if you allow it. It's quite difficult, but still, you know. Hmm. Let's do the three of pentacles. In the immediate future. Whoa. The lovers, the king of wands, the ace of swords. Yeah. Yeah, definitely heading towards a more solid partnership, a deeper sense of partnership here. Way better than even when it started from that energy of happiness because now it has a foundation that was looking pretty broken there for a split second, but the two of you are managing to fix it in, you know, with the latest materials possible. I don't even know what the hell you're doing here because it's looking like the energies are turning back around quite nicely with slow and steady wins the race kind of concept attached to it. So, I don't know, this looks really, really good. And thank you that you turned it back around because I'm like, ah, uh, that's, that's, you know, that train is not looking good. Close, so close to that freaking cliff. It's, it's like, no, 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 no. But um, for the Two of Swords, you get the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands. For the Two of Swords. From the universe, you get the Two of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Uh, yeah, you're still in the in this in this current situation. You're still kind of struggling with this. It's not showing up as any kind of 
well, you are feeling the changes from especially that energy of the past, but it's not showing up as, okay, it's, I don't know if it's heading in a good direction. You know, I'm not feeling it yet. So you're still in a, in a, in a place of questioning certain things. The one thing that remains constant is love. So if you could uh, possibly focus on the one thing that you do have clear for this, which again, seems like it's your heart, not on the mind, not on one th what the mind tells you here, uh, you should be golden here. So keep focused on what's clear within yourself about this, not about this, because this is not clear. The two of swords is not a clear energy. The two of swords is a tricky energy, not clear. It's making you think that you're clear about things, but you're not really. And keeping you disconnected from the one thing that's actually clear here, which is the love you carry for the situation. So try to keep with it. It'll change. You'll see the results. For now, you're probably not seeing them. That's why you're questioning them. So slow and steady. Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye.